Welcome to Sweethearts or Rivals. I'm Sharla. I'm Justin. What's on our table today? Onitama. Onitama is a game that is for two players only. Mm -hmm. And they recommend you can play it with people that are aged 14 and up. And they say it can take you about maybe 15 minutes. There you go. The copy we have is published by Arcane Wonders. Right on. What do you think of the components of Onitama? I think, really, the components are excellent for Onitama. Oh, yeah. The board is a mouse pad that rolls right up. Yep. So it fits right into this, well, it's an oddly shaped box. Yep. That's okay, though. But it rolls right up and fits into the box. Mm -hmm. The pieces are very hard plastic. Yeah. And they are big and chunky. Yeah. They're a good color, blue and red. Mm -hmm. Very distinguishable colors. Yeah. And the cards might be the only thing that's a little substandard of the quality. What? They're... They're only medium, and they're not linen, oh, the card and they're stock. smooth, and I found that when we played the copy at the Boardroom Game Cafe, yes, the cards were really beat up and grungy, but I mean, their copies played like hundreds of times. Yeah. But our copy is going to be played hundreds of times eventually as well. Yep. So, I don't know. I might want to sleeve these cards. Yeah, definitely. Just because you're passing them around a lot, like... Yeah. That's the only reason. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. I do really like the artwork on the cards. Um, the artwork is really cool on the cards. Because the, the kanji symbols that are on the cards have actually been done in a style that makes it look like whatever that style is. So monkey, you can actually see a little monkey in mm -hmm. there, which yeah. is just really neat. And all of them are like that. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. And they have flavor text on them too. Yep. Which is interesting. Like, what's the monkey say? Without deception, you cannot carry out strategy. Without strategy, you cannot control the opponent. Sounds like a monkey. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know many monkeys. <laughs> it's just funny that I use that particular card. Oh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> don't give me any spoilers. Nice. Now, I did mention the box was kind of a strange shape, mm -hmm. but that's because of the insert, which yep. is an excellent insert. Yeah. So when you open it up here, I'm going to put it here so you can maybe see it on camera. Like, all these little pieces fit in here perfect. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your bigger pieces, and that's why the box is the shape it is, I'm sure. Yep. But when you put it on your shelf, it's going to go on that shelf that you Jenga together or Tetris together. You know, the odd shaped box shelf yep it's gonna go on that shelf nice but i mean it's a nice looking box even though it's a weird way a weird shape to try to fit with your other board games yeah as somebody asked me uh what i was carrying when i was walking through the hall with it and then somebody mentioned was that like a box of wine or something it kind of <laughs> does look like a box of wine <laughs> no it's a board game they did not believe me it's kind of funny did it get inspected at school? No. You would have gotten in trouble almost. No. Yeah, maybe. They trust me. Yeah. yeah. What about the strategery, which is a word we use for strategy, tactics, and luck? Um, well, there's not really any luck in this game. Uh, there's a little bit of randomness with the setup because there's a lot of cards and you only ever play with five, but there's that doesn't translate into any luck into the game. Um, as soon as you get those five cards, you can kind of start strategizing about which cards are going to let you attack. Because mm -hmm. you really need to set things up in order to get that attack in. Uh, which is a lot of misdirection mm -hmm. and a ton of tactics. Yes. Because you can only do two moves, but there's actually a surprising amount of choice with just those two moves. Because each of the two cards can be applied to any of your five pieces. And then each of the cards actually has a number of choices where your piece can end up. Right. So there's a lot of choices, and there's a ton of tactics. Right. But in order to really master the game, what you're doing with that lots and lots of tactics is you're trying to plan out tactically several moves ahead. Mm. So there's constantly like this kind of far range strategy and then pulling it back as the tactics change. Right. Which is awesome. I would have to argue with you that there's a little bit of luck in the game, though. Ooh, what's that? That you're just sitting there on pins and needles sometimes waiting for your opponent not to see that move. Yeah. And, you know, when they miss that move that seems to you quite obvious, you feel pretty lucky. I don't. I just no? feel skill. Oh, skill. Yep. 
Oh, I guess I'm not at the skill level yet then. <laughs> yep. So, um, the interesting thing with the setup of Onitama is with the five cards, um, if you find out suddenly that you've got five cards with very little forward momentum, mm -hmm. s those games are going to tend to last longer because there's a lot more slow turtling to get around without... Yeah, kind of crisscross action. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you got a game with like the tiger and the dragon thrown in, suddenly the games are a little bit shorter because people are jumping around the board a whole lot quicker. Mm -hmm. So a lot of different flavors of the types of games, which would be endless because there's a lot of cards, there are. which is really awesome. Yeah, how many cards are there? I'm gonna Nine. check. Yeah, there's quite a lot of cards. There are 16 cards total. Nice. So what about the complexity of Onitama? It's not overly complex because each time you play the game, you really only have to focus on two cards. Yeah. Unless you want to try to plan ahead. But on your very first game, you only really have to focus on the two cards that are in front of you. Yeah. And then maybe you might want to look ahead and see what your opponent can move next so that you don't move into an obvious spot where they can move next. Yeah. But it's not all that difficult. The only complex part of it is figuring out the multiple moves ahead and then thinking, well, I think they're going to use that card next, so maybe that card will come to me next. So what yeah. do I want to move with these two cards so that I can move with that card after? Yeah. That's where the complexity comes in. And we've played quite a number of these games and I've only really had one game that I felt really, really smart. Like, there was a few times that I'm like, I've really got him. I don't know how he's going to get out of this this time. <laughs> or then we were playing in that exact same game, and you had me, and I was like, I don't think there's anything I can do. There's only one thing. I don't know how it's going to shake out, but at least he's not going to take this piece, and I move there, and then I managed to extend the game longer. Yeah. So those were the games where I felt a little smarter when I played it. But it's there's... only happened to me the one time. Yeah. And there's a couple times where it seems like, like, oh, we should just stop because you've got me in two moves. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing I can do. Right. But. Never stop. No. No. Um, we were playing it with, we had a big game day the other day, and I was playing it against someone who had never played it before. And they did that. They're like, oh, well, you got me. I'm done. And I was like, well, you could move there, and at least I don't have you this round. And they did. And then suddenly the whole game changed. Right. And it went on for another ten minutes. Yeah. So that happens. And then the game where that happened where I pretty much had you. Mm -hmm. um, you managed to maneuver around all my pieces, and then I couldn't move backwards fast enough, and you got to my um, temple spot right. and won. Yeah. So, yeah, never quit, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, it is an interesting game where you have two people um, not speaking to each other pretty at much all. the whole game. <laughs> Because yeah. both of you are just, like, zeroed Focused. in on, okay, I can do yeah. this, and I can do 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 this, okay, I'm going to try that. Yeah. I am pretty sure that for the playthrough, I'm going to have to put some kind of music or something, because even though we were conscious of we're on camera and we probably should be talking, yeah. like, really, I don't think we talk that much. Probably not. Hopefully no. it's not too boring to watch the playthrough. We'll see. Luckily, it's, it's very short. It will be short because, yeah. I mean, I'm going to cut out all the dead air, so yeah. it's only going to be however many moves we took to end the game. There we go. I mean, it could be a 10-minute video. Yeah. yeah. And I think it, it works, like it's a strength of the game, the fact that it is so short. Mm -hmm. um, because it is a lot of intense, like, gamer, like, involvement yeah. without a lot of chit-chat and stuff. Right. And what do you think about the playability? The playability. Uh, it was very interesting because... It feels, and, and I'm not the only one who said this, a couple of people have said this, it feels like a martial arts fight mm -hmm. where you are very much trying to maneuver and set up your pieces and their pieces to fall for the attack. Right. Which is just awesome. It is just, uh, it's just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I can't talk about the scalability of the game. Well, it's only two players. Because it's only two players. <laughs> yeah. um, but... Uh, the game length, again, is uh, super short, which is a strength, because it's the type of game where you're like, that was really neat, let's play again so I can get better. Right. And then a whole new deck of cards come out, and it's just like, this This is a whole different game. Right. 
which is just amazing. Um, which again goes towards that replayability. And it's kind of fun. I was just going to say, yeah, you get to adapt your gameplay to whatever is out for that turn. Yeah. Whatever five cards come out. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big fan of abstracty type games. Mm. I am certainly not a fan of chess. I could... At all. I'm at the point now where I can't remember how the pieces move. Yeah. But to actually play the game... Yeah. Like, it's too complex strategy for me at, at this time. So this is like... The idea of chess being this awesome game that I should enjoy, but don't. Right. And this takes it and, and turns it into everything that I would love in an abstract game. Because mm -hmm. it's just, ah, oh, it's just so good. Quick. Endlessly replayable. You don't have to memorize moves. It's all intuitive because it's right there on the cards. Mm -hmm. And yeah, lots and lots of super tactics. But if you can start adding forward-thinking strategy to those tactics. It just adds a whole new layer. Yeah, and you can take them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, it is incredibly fun to take your pieces and just do ninja moves and take them out. That's awesome. And it's nice that the pieces are actually durable enough that you can do that. Yes. Like, they're really <laughs> hard plastic, so, yep. like, when you do that, you're not going to take his head off. So, no. even if he flies across the room, like... That's right. In excitement. <laughs> it's awesome. So, does it have the awesomeness or the cuteness? I would have to give it awesomeness over cuteness. Oh, so much awesomeness. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, it could get cuter. You could have had pink and purple people. I suppose. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. You could have. The, like, moves are so awesome that, like, I find myself being like, Oh, monkey style! Yeah! Yeah. And then switching the cards around. Mm -hmm. And just, like, getting into the Well, you do the feel kind of like Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. Did they put a panda? I don't think don't so. I don't think they did. They should have, though. Wouldn't that have been funny? There's no Kung Fu Panda. An expansion. <laughs> it should be, like, one of those extra cards you can get on the board game geek or something. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. The panda. Using, like, one of the pandas from, like, Takinoko or something. Some, maybe. <laughs> I was thinking more of the movie. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. Um, are we going to trade it or are we going to keep it? I think we better keep this one. Yes, this is definitely a keeper. Yeah, because you don't like a lot of abstracts. And no. I do like abstracts. So it's nice that we finally found one that you want to play. Oh, yeah. I could play this all the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. Like, not only is it a keeper, but it's a sleever. Yes. Yes. We're incredibly careful with our cards. We yeah. still want to sleeve these so that this lasts forever. And they're an odd shape of card, too, so it's going to take a little research to find this some is sleeves to fit them. This is true. Could be the Seven Wonders um, size, though. Yeah. I'll do some research uh, so we can order some sleeves, and then maybe when I get find that out, I can put it in the comments below. The, these are the sleeves you need, mm -hmm. just in case you're interested. Right. Yeah. And did we finish this game as Sweethearts or Rivals? We finished it as... Always Rivals. Rivals. Always Rivals. Yeah. And it is amazing for a game to be this short and instill such rivalry. Mm -hmm. Such rivalry. Well, it's like you said. Yeah. You do feel like you're like pulling yeah. off these kung fu moves yeah. and like you're my opponent and going to take you down. Yeah. And you get to like value certain cards over others for their attack value and it's like I can't believe you just gave up Manta style. I know. It's There's awesome. sometimes you're like, that card's so good, I'm just gonna save it for my very last move and I'm That's right, yeah. never gonna use it. Tiger style is such one of those cards. Yeah. That is such Until like ah. it's the only card that can get your big guy <laughs> away from someone and you're like, No, I have to sacrifice it to save him. Yeah. Yeah. That's too bad. And that is Onitama. It is. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video. Later.